Hey there, my gorgeous friends on the internet. Yes, I shaved, I look 12, so that's exciting. Exciting times here on the DevEd channel. Anyway, what I wanna cover today is some SVG animations because a lot of people are interested in those and a lot of people don't really know how they work. So I wanna give you a quick little tip and trick on how you can achieve them. Now, I'm gonna cover this also in my course so you can get more practice there, but let me kind of give you a quick look on how we can do this. I have a mosquito here in my room. Go, go away. I'm gonna burn you. Well, that has nothing to do with the tutorial. So let's get going. First thing we need to do is actually get an SVG. So, oh no, this is the finished product. No, let's close this up. So what we want to do for, for once, uh, we can just go to undraw, okay? Because this is super easy, super simple, and you can use these for free, all right? So let's kind of pick one of these out, but you can also make your, your own SVGs or you can find them in other places. But for now, let's create that bike and I used undraw for this. So the first step is to find the bike and the way you can do that is just go to search. I'm gonna say bike, bike. Hit enter and this is the guy here. So I'm gonna hit download, and after I hit download, I have the bicycle down here. Okay, open with Internet Explorer, lovely. <laughs> All right, let's close this up. No, why you do this? Why you do this? I deleted the thing, are you kidding me? Let's download again. Okay, and what we would do is, I highly recommend you to use this with Figma because it's very easy to export things. It's free, it's free. You can export things the way you want, and also, uh, it's very easy to do slight edits to it. So what I want to do, seeing this is the finished one, so let's make a new one. So I'm gonna hit the plus symbol up here. Plus! Ah! Okay. I'm sorry. Let's calm down. And what I want to do is we can just drop in the SVG. So let me go here, drag it, drop it, bum bum bum. Amaz amazing. Okay, so what I want to do is open this up here and as you can see we have a ton of these small little files so what you want to do is kind of group up everything the way you want to animate and kind of get rid of the things that you don't want so this plan i do not want so what i want will do is just kind of scroll down here all the way till i kind of get to the plan thing so it's around here all right so this thing i can toggle it on and off the upper part here this is the plant as well so kind of from here, let me scroll down. As you can see, it kind of highlights the thing there as I scroll down uh, all the way. Okay, so till the almost the last one. I'm gonna select everything here and just get rid of it. Another way you can select it is you can just double click on it uh, like this or click once. If it doesn't select it, you can just click once. And you can kind of manually get rid of it like this. Okay, nice. Okay, so I don't want that. Now we are all also gonna find that this kind of has a lot of shadows in. So there's one, there's one. So you kind of want to simplify your shapes as much as possible. Now, to be honest, let's let's keep all of these. So what I want to do is, again, just kind of group everything the way I want to animate. So if I want to animate this hat, I want to group this in its own thing. So as you can see, I can select the hat like this. And there's also that shadow below it, so I'm gonna select that as well. So this weird shadow. Okay, so let's go back here. Actually, you know what? If I drag this, let's get rid of this whole big shadow thing. Click delete. All right, I'm gonna move this hat back. Something like that. Okay, so we have the hat. Let's grab the hat. I'm just gonna hit Control G, that's gonna group it up, and I'm gonna name this hat, all lowercase, hat. Okay, next up, what I want to do is kind of mess around with this background color. So I'm going to select this. Let's go to linear here. I'm just going to create kind of a, a nicer looking color. So drag this kind of in this direction. And I want to increase the opacity of this. And as you can see, you cannot see it that well. And the reason why is because this has a pass through of 10. So I'm going to just raise this up to 100. Okay, and let's kind of mess around and get the interesting color. So kind of like an aqua looking thing like that. And here, let's kind of go with a, I don't know, something like that. That looks kind of cool. Okay, I'm happy with that. Next up, what I want to do is also kind of change these colors here. Uh, so I'm gonna click here and select each one of them and maybe do like a darker gray. 
something like that. Somebody honked. Hello. Okay. So now I can just select each one of these and hit I and then just kind of change the color of it. Okay. There we go. We are painting today. Oops. All right. So this doesn't work. Why doesn't it work? Oh, because there's a stupid shadow underneath. So let's get rid of that. I and I. And actually, again, another shadow here. So let me get rid of that. Actually, let's do the darker part here. Let's do the wheel color like that. Okay, perfect. So I got everything the way I want it to look. So now it's grouping time. So we have the hat. I'm gonna bring this actually, drag it all the way up here. Okay, next I wanna group basically, what else do I wanna animate? Well, I wanna animate the wheels. I'm gonna grab this part. Let's see, we have these. I'm gonna hold shift, grab this and the wheel. Let's see, okay, we grabbed the whole thing. There's that little dot, but screw the dot. So I'm gonna hit Control G on all of these selected. So I kind of move it around first to see what I have grabbed. Control G, all right, as you can see, it groups it here. So I'm gonna rename this to right wheel, like that. And then we'll do a T to the other one as well. Grab this, hold Shift, grab all of these, Control G, group, this is gonna be left wheel. Okay, perfect. So I can actually turn these off for now so I can see kind of what else is left here. So all of this section, I'm actually gonna grab everything. Let's also grab the background and turn it off. And I'm just gonna grab everything here like this and kind of group everything together as well. I don't know what this is. Let's get rid of this. Group everything together and name this man on a bike or man bike. Okay, and that's it. That's all we need to do. So now we can turn everything back on, even the background, and now we can export this. So I'm gonna click on the parent element here and I'm gonna hit export. Now this is very important, so pay attention. Pay attention. We're gonna switch to SVG, okay? And then we're gonna hit these three dots. And it's very important for you to click here. Include ID attribute. So this way, when we export everything, these are gonna have an ID. So the hat is gonna have an ID of hat, the bike is gonna have an ID of man bike, <laughs> and the right wheel is gonna have the ID of right wheel. So now we can just export this whole thing and we can straight up jump in and animate it in CSS. Amazing, Figma. Oh my God, they're almost better than Ligma. Okay, so let's go on this, make sure we have those selected, export, and we're gonna bring it uh, I already made a file here. Let's create another one. Bike boy, like this. All right, and we're gonna save it there. So let's open. I'm gonna rename this bike. Bike guy. All right, that's the file name. Save, and we are done. We can open up our favorite uh, photo editing tool via Visual Studio Code. All right, and let me open up that folder. Uh, so the bike boy, okay. So here, let's just kind of throw together our index.html and our CSS. Like that, let's generate a file by holding shift and one tab, and that's gonna generate this. Let's rename this to bike. And in here, what I wanna do is copy everything over. Yeah, I know, it's gonna be crazy. And the reason why we wanna copy everything over is so we can animate these individual paths, okay? So this is gonna make your HTML look ugly, but hey, I mean, you cannot get everything nice in life. Uh, so let's go up here. Let's also create a style.css like this. And what I wanna do is just kinda add a, let's remove the basic stylings, margin zero, padding zero, and box sizing. Boda box, and hit save. Okay, let's open this thing up. So we're gonna hit go live. There we go, so this is what we have. Okay, uh, we can grab, let's just add the body and kind of move this in the center, just body, text align center, okay? That doesn't work, okay, never mind. Let's drop it inside a div. Okay, there we go. Drop it down here, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. All right, there we go, close this up. Let's move back up here. Oh, we didn't have the style sheet linked. That's why it didn't work. Okay, cool. Um, style sheet. Wow, now it's aligned in the middle. Amazing. Okay, so that was useless. 
Anyway, let's move on to the next part where we are gonna create these keyframes. So now all I need to do is literally just grab whatever I wanna grab. So let's see, I wanna do the right wheel. I can straight up just CSS animate this because Figma did it for us. So I just grab the element here and down here, I just create a keyframes and I'm gonna name this wheel. And what I wanna do is say from and to. So what do I wanna animate? I wanna rotate it like this, boom, 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 okay? So what I wanna do is say transform, rotate, and we're gonna rotate the Z angle. And I'm gonna do 360 degrees, okay? Actually, we are moving from zero to 360. So let me copy this here and change this one to zero. Okay, and here what we can do is say animation, we can say wheel, we can do one second ease and see how that looks. Oh no, well that's not what we want. It kind of spins around like that. So if you have this issue, there's, there's a super simple way you can fix it. What you can do is you wanna make sure that the position that it rotates is actually in the center here. So the rotation position. So what you can do is you can say, <laughs> I forgot, no. <laughs> uh, origin, something with origin, transform origin. So we can get this transform origin and we can say center. Hit save. Now. It's better, but it still kind of rotates around this SVG thing, right? So even though it rotates from the center up there, it kind of still takes up the space of this whole big thing. So to fix that issue, you can actually add something called transform box. So let's go to transform box like this. As you can see, it says the transform box defines the layout box to which transform and transform origin properties relate to. So we can do transform box and what we can do is say fill box. And this is gonna fix everything up nicely. So let's take a look. Refresh and it's spinning, awesome. So what I wanna do is actually change this from, just add infinite here. I want this to go forever. So as you can see, it goes forever. But the problem is it kinda of slows down a bit and then it starts again. So what we need to do is change the easing. We want to switch that to linear so it keeps a constant speed throughout the whole animation. So if we change it to linear, oh no, it's not working. Why is it not working? And it doesn't work because I added ease here. So let's get rid of that. Hey, it's spinning the way we want. Perfect, lovely. We can slow down a bit, maybe two seconds is fine. Okay, so something like that. Now we can do the same thing to the other wheel. So I can just add a comma here and I can say left wheel. Hit save. That's gonna give me the same result. Okay, so let's kind of do, uh, do some animation with the guy that we have here. Uh, so what we can do is take a look. What name did we pick? We can actually get rid of this SVG, but it's a bit nicely organized here. So we can get this man bike, okay? So let's target the man bike like that. And this guy is going to get another keyframe. So let's say keyframes. I'm going to say bike to this. And let's do what we can do is say transform. Let's from and to. I kind of want to make it like he's bending over a bit, like going down, like he's riding the bike. So what I found looking good was something called transform. And we can do rotate X. I'm gonna do zero degrees here, and down here I'm gonna do transform rotate x 20 degrees. All right, let's take a look how that looks. So we can go back here to Mr. Man Bike, and we can add a animation. We can do bike. Let's do one second, ease in and out. Let's do infinite, and let's take a look how that looks. All right, that looks weird and it kind of jumps back to its original position. So what I want to do is add alternate, and that's gonna fix that. It's gonna alternate between those both motions. But here's what I don't like. You see right there, this kind of lifts above the wheels and it's kind of floating. So again, I can change that transform origin and I can add it to the bottom if I want. So this position always stays there and it basically it animates from this position. So only the top part is gonna change. So if I add the transform origin, no. Transform origin, and I'll change this to bottom. Hit save. 
There we go. That's much, much better. It's not perfect, but it's way better. Okay, so that's step one. Let's also animate the hat. This is optional, but you can do it. And what I did here was I just, uh, just did another keyframes. Keyframes. Let's say hat and from. Let's do two. Uh, all I did was add a transform. Translate Y, I believe. It was like 20%. Actually, 0 to 20% or something like that. Let's do 30 and 0 here. Save and let's also add it to the hat. So let's go up here and say hat. This is going to have an animation of one second. Uh, it's called hat. One second is in and out. It's going to be infinite and alternate. Save. Okay, that's not good. Something fell on the ground, I apologize. So let's kind of mess around with the transform origin and the fill box. Let's kind of copy over these two, transform origin and transform box, and paste them here. Okay, much better. There we go, so now it kind of moves with the head. So that looks quite okay. And you can kind of mess around with this. Let's try top, transform origin top. Okay, let's go back to center, maybe change the speed of this, let's do 40. So it kind of moves on his head. Yeah, so it kind of bumps a bit up and down. Independent from that. You can also do a spinning if you want. Rotate, Z, zero degrees. And then maybe we can do a rotate C of 20 degrees. Is that crazy? All right, kind of like lift up like that. All right, so kind of experiment with this, see what you can come up with. But as you can see how easy it is to make these uh, uh, CSS animations with SVGs. All right, so Figma makes it real nice with you and it's free. So have fun with it and I will see you in the next one. Okay, so that's gonna be it. Hope you enjoyed it. Please create some animations, send it to me. I wanna see them all. I'm very excited. Also, a lot of people have been asking me uh, where I'm gonna host my course and if you don't know, I'm gonna do it basically on my own website. I'm gonna create a new website and the hosting, the videos are gonna be hosted on Teachable, which is kind of a online platform for courses, right? So I can pay them a monthly fee and they're gonna host the course for me and they're gonna take care of any payment processes, all right? So it's gonna be very convenient for all of you. And the cool thing is I can make my own discounts and do kind of whatever I want. So that's gonna be exciting. So there we go, that's gonna be it. I know a lot of people wanted to see the course on Udemy, uh, but I'm not gonna host there because there's so many issues with that platform. If you wanna, if you're interested in why, I can make a separate video on why I don't wanna host it on Udemy. So let me know in the comments if you wanna see that. And I know a lot of content creators are also jumping over uh, from Udemy to creating kind of their own platform. Um, so yeah, that's gonna be it. See you on the next ride, all the way to Valhalla and I ran out of ideas. See you guys next time. Peace.